Hey guys and welcome back to another video, I'm Antopia HK And I'm Joe Zantz And in today's video we are going to be talking about the 6 things that every ant keeper needs We'll both be uploading different versions of the same video to our channels So go check out my ant channel and drop me a sub Don't worry, I'll link your channel in the description Joe Oh, thanks No problem Also, remember to give this video a thumbs up So let's get into this Number 1. Tweezers. Tweezers are crucial for ant keeping. A pair of tweezers is a cheap tool used by loads of insects, hobbyists, and other hobbyists. It's used to handle things that our big fingers can't, pretty much acting as an extension tool and grabbing tool. A pair of tweezers can be used for handling live food, tidying out worlds, and literally everything. Being an ant keeper without tweezers is almost impossible. It's also really cheap, so it's definitely worth it. Number 2. Anti-slip. Ants can often be crafty little things, and although a good pet, they can easily become horrible pests. To ensure this doesn't happen to you, we recommend getting some anti-slip. This goes on smooth surfaces like the rim of an outworld, and acts as a barrier which ants can't climb past. It's definitely a worthy investment. You certainly don't want them escaping into your room. Number 3. Test tubes. Test tubes are also essential for ant keeping. For one, they are the center of the test tube setup, the basic form of carrying that every ant keeper uses for their frowning colonies. Test tubes can also be used to catch ant queens, housing colonies until they are ready for a form of carrying, and also be transform transformed into helpful water feeders. Number four, a brush. Sounds weird, right? But a paintbrush can be vital in many ways as an ant keeper. It's key when dealing with escape because ants can be picked up easily and moved using a paintbrush. I found a paintbrush also really helpful for cleaning dirty outworlds. This has certainly been a useful tool for my ant keeping adventures so far. It also might come in handy if I decide to start a painting channel. Number 5. Cotton Wool Cotton wool is a necessity for ant keepers because well it's used in everything. Tot cotton is mostly used in test tube setups or water feeders, and well, the only limits are, well, how you use it. Cotton wool can also be used like a brush to catch ants and clean up. Because it allows air to flow through, it can be used as cheap ventilation for outworlds or a good way to block off the ends of tubing to prevent ants from escaping. Number six, patience. Not quite a piece of equipment, but still a very useful skill to have. Ant growth isn't instant. In some cases, it can take months or years for colonies to even grow out of their test tubes. If an ant keeper doesn't have patience, then they will end up trying to rush their ants, disturbing them too much or forcing them to move out of a test tube when they aren't ready. This can cause some colonies to die of stress. If you want your ants to stay alive, you must have patience. And now that we have done all these six essentials for ant keepers, I want to add a bonus one as number 7, which is a test tube connector. It is a test tube connector that connects test tubes, which my company has designed. A video about my company, or um, our company, will soon be out um, in a few weeks. And well, what a test tube connector is, you can use it as a test tube connector to move a colony into a new test tube, which makes moving a colony into a new test tube so much easier I can't like explain how much easier it is or you can attach your colony's test tube and then on the other side you can have a new test tube with food inside it so it'll be easier to feed thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share it means a lot to me and also go check out Joe Zan's channel to see his version of this video and tell me who did it better I'll see all of you guys in the next one peace